Number eight. On. Oh yeah, and that means it's Grease time. Uh, everybody's here, so hey, high fives all around. I know him. It's all you, my friend. You do know me because a lot of things are online, including shirtless pictures that y'all have already made your background. True. Um, that, you know, decently close. I mean, I, I'm totally fine if you want to, <laughs> you know, take. Look, I love how Natalie, Natalie and Jason, day. Natalie and Jason are making a perfect deep V for your hipster <laughs> butt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't get away with much around here, and that's what I love about you. Are y'all drinking this or what? Are y'all just yeah. gonna you get to it? Why are you Wait wasting time? You. I wasn't wasting time. No. Corey, thank you for having me on this sh uh, on this show. On the Whatever. show, <laughs> long time listener, is. first time caller. <laughs> Man, I What's used to. Quote? Wasn't the quote earlier, I'm going to be as responsible as hell and he doesn't even have his sample ready? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I've already got Clint's Two Knob Creeks packed in a box ready to be shipped Ooh. tomorrow. The box wow. even taped. called me about right, it, so I can That's confirm. Is the, is the box taped? Did you put the tape box on? is taped. <laughs> Did you I, ripped label? Off, I ripped off all the old labels. I just got to I just got to make it by our mail tomorrow to ship it out. Mm. So Smells we're almost great. there. That's where we get stuff. Great. Yes, it does. Smells good. What distillery y'all think this is from? A dang old <laughs> Buffalo place. Yeah. Oh, oh, Buffalo Tree. Based on the label, I wanted to guess Kentucky Owl product before. I even took it out of the bottle mm. just because that felt like the perfect sticker for Grease <laughs> and <laughs> Dixon. Oh, no, I know, I know him. him. <laughs> uh-huh. The Blend Brothers. Is that what you're talking about? Mm. <laughs> Same. I mean, I should make a T-shirt and give it to him. Matching T-shirts so we can wear them together. God, he would hate. He would be so bad. <laughs> He'd be like, I'm hey, not. Grease, I know you I know you haven't been to many of these, but there's like <laughs> normally you like talk about why you chose the bottle, say some nice words about all of us, and then you tell us what it is and we drink it. You don't oh, just yeah. sit around like just jabbering. Okay. Sorry. All right, I, I got straight. furniture to move. Okay. Uh, the lazy fox jumped over the river. Is that how it goes? What is that one that you do every letter of the alphabet? Y'all don't even know. Anyway, that's not my speech. Is it a speech? <laughs> um, so I picked this bottle because I know a lot of y'all might have this bottle, but I necessarily think that you have opened it. Um, I was like, I'm going to send this out so that everybody can have of it and then they can, you know, figure out, you know, when, 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 when not to open it. Um, so is this when I just tell y'all what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, Southern Whiskey Society E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. Nice. All right. Buffalo Trace. Yep. Mm -hmm. You did. You did. I mean, I thought about sending that dry state, but, you know, it's half wheels, so I don't know. I like that Nat keeps trying to hold up the bottle, and it keeps blending into your chest, Grease, when she tries to hold the bottle up. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of things. A lot of things blend into my chest, Corey. No, it's, um, fine. it's fine. Fluorescent yellow. <laughs> it, it Grease is jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not funny. Um. <laughs> yeah what do y'all think about this is it fabulous is it so good oh my gosh i think it's it's one of my favorite single barrels if not I, actually it is my it's my favorite single barrel that will and i've been a part of we picked this with southern whiskey society chris thomas joe roddy casey um, bright casey bright um thanks for not forgetting me this time yeah cam <laughs> was there uh bearded dram was there dan Dixon. blair uh, Dixon was unable to make it that morning. Uh, we he was mopping it. up our mess. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did pick it. Was it Saturday morning? It was a Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Saturday morning of Whiskey Weekend before the You would not have made it on Friday morning. There, I, yep. Uh, I know exactly how someone felt the year before going and picking that barrel. No, I felt year. great the year before, by the way. Cloud nine. No, no, no. I'm talking about somebody else that could barely do our tasting at Buffalo Trace for Whiskey Weekend. Oh, got the it. Year before. Yeah. I'll just say there's a reason why Casey has hoarded every one of these in the eastern part of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> it's because yeah. it's so damn it's delicious. That's why. This is excellent. very good. Yeah. All right, Natalie. So something interesting. Well, something oh. interesting about this is that um, we all we had these bottles. This was my second choice. This was Will's first, so we all know that that's the way this usually goes. Um, but uh, this was when we proofed it down to a hundred proof, quote unquote. Like it was just, I don't know. I felt like all three barrels were just very similar. There wasn't, you know, much, you know, differentiation or whatever. But Anyway, when we got this thing back and we popped it open in the bottle, like Will and I do not remember it tasting anywhere close to this good, um, which I feel like is pretty rare just because of, you know, when you when you add water, like a lot of times, you know, you could be losing a lot of character. But I think adding water actually made this whiskey better. Um, I agree. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's just kind of a a unique story with this one. Um, I don't know where uh, it was located in the Rick House or anything like that because on this on this one we actually uh, came and we picked it. Um, God, what what room is that? Will is it the? It's the Master Distillers room. A Master Distillers room, yeah. So they've got all the Master Distillers uh, in frame, like artwork and stuff like that. And we just had this huge lodge table, and they bring in the samples, and then we had. Uh, we had three barrels, I think, to choose from that day. So um, it, it's always fun trying these at cask strength. Um, four barrels. So we had four barrels. Uh, tasting these at cask strength and then, you know, taste them kind of where you're at. We always try to pick it based on the proof down version um, just because we know it's going to, you know, be a little bit different character when you add water. Like what, what's that water doing? Is it is it adding sweetness or is it just dilute? Like what was happening? Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, we picked this one. We thought it was pretty daggum good, but then when we got the actual bottles, it was freaking great. And I think Casey can vouch for me on that. Casey thoughts. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to be quiet because as soon as I smelt it, I knew what it was hundred percent. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I, I'm not trying to steal your show that it's why it's front and center right there. That it's super special. Cause I, I mean, that's, E.H. Taylor's always been my go-to. Um, I've been very blessed and fortunate to pick a couple now, and this is still the best. Um, it's just, it's special all the way around. But uh, more than the drink, the pick, the crew I was with, the fact that Will was actually talking to me that day post um, me ruining a magic show, I don't know, 10 hours earlier. <laughs> you didn't ruin nothing. It was a good day. No, um, we just had to tell you to shut up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I was, it was a joke. Um, but anyway, um, it was, it was awesome. Um, it is, it's full of memories and that's why to Dustin's point, I have, I have a lot of those tubes cause I, I want to enjoy it and I want to drink it, but I also don't want to run out. So it's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, crap. What was I saying? What were you just saying? Casey? Oh, for the, yeah. Sorry for those of <laughs> out there. For those out there in like internet land, Casey got to go on the pick with us because of his generosity. He helped uh, raise a lot of money for One Gen Away, which is a local charity here in Nashville at Southern Whiskey Society. I actually was his proxy. Um, it was the one and only winter version of Southern Whiskey Society. And I was kind of monitoring those tables and figuring out like what he could bid in order to come on that pick because I know he really wanted to do it. And he made it happen. So thank you, Casey, for your generosity and helping uh, that organization, but also uh, just for picking a daggum freaking great whiskey. All right, Natalie, <laughs> tasting notes. All right. So um, on the nose, I got that this was grapey. 
I got some plum on there and some. Butter. That's it for the call, folks. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be here all week. Yeah. And for the taste, I got oaky, caramel, uh, buttery, uh, light char, and Ritz crackers. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to have to dive back in on Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers was on the palate. Uh huh. Yeah. I would say it's very Because my dad's favorite cracker ever, his favorite snack ever was Ritz crackers. Just Ooh. plain Ritz crackers, nothing, no cheese, just Ritz. Because Grease won't do anything without a squirt can of cheese. Oh, <laughs> hell, you're right. <laughs> that daggum easy cheese, that mm -hmm. gum it time. <laughs> I haven't had easy cheese in a while, but that actually sounds pretty good right now. So. Grease calls I, any I, cheese he's eating easy. <laughs> what other notes some... y'all get hey hey i married a feta cheese you know what i'm talking about <laughs> what other no. notes do y'all get i get super similar to that blanton's gold with that buttery note mm -hmm. like that palette like those two things were so similar having them this close together so i totally agree i get chocolate covered wiener schnitzel but that's just me <laughs> I think Wiener Schnitzel is always better when it's covered in something. Oh. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> eight episodes yeah, is how, we yeah. made, how long we made it. Yeah. Now, when they're giving us eight out of 12, but we I think we it. made, well, we well made the over. We made the over, I think. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, okay. Hey, when y'all use easy cheese, speaking of easy cheese, when y'all use easy cheese on any kind of cracker, do y'all do y'all taste any difference in any of the cheese flavors? Wait, um, you know how they got they've got like no. not nacho cheese, white cheddar, mm -hmm. sharp cheddar. Oh. Nope. Just buy the right. orange. Right. Can you just say cheers and we can get this over with? Why? <laughs> He's yeah, got to move the oak. <laughs> we have to move the oak? <laughs> got to cover the he's got to do. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Well, hey, if, if, we, yeah, if we go ahead. Well, if we, yeah, it just flew over that where way. Did, like, where did Jason go? <laughs> he's just, he just vaporized. He just melted into your breast. Okay. I'm okay just with disappeared. That. If, if if we go ahead and cheers, can I just can I just make sure that we just you know we we just need five more minutes after this thing for me just to feel like I'm, I'm back. I think that's probably safe. Ah, what just happened? Ah! <laughs> I don't see it. Well, look at the, Natalie. I'm on the single what? view. No, oh, you need to switch over to Nat. She's got like a rotating backgrounds. I don't understand who that is, but I do. Some Christian rock band. Yeah. All right, now she's back to your same background. All right, let's uh let's cheers out of this and then we'll we'll uh we'll we'll save all the not appropriate for YouTube content. Cheers. There he is. Get <laughs> after in the back the somewhere. He's back. I call mine. I had to I had to re up. No. Oh, lovely. Go. Ready? Oh. Yeah. Merry cheers. Christmas. Cheers to Silk. <laughs> Cheers to silk sheets and, and Santa pajamas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs>